makes a good one? Well, I think something original. I mean, I mean, you, you, there's a sort of a for, not a formula, but the, the, there are ways of taking cricket pictures, you know. And I've, I've done quite a few over the years, and I'm looking for something that goes. Oh, that's clever! You know, I've never, never seen that before. Or oh, that's different. Um, and if if they can do that. That'll be a really good start. Well, what tips do you have for amateur photographers getting into cricket specifically? Well, I don't know. I mean, there are, there are a couple of issues here. I mean, obviously, most amateurs may not have the same equipment as a professional, but that doesn't mean that they can't can't compete. You know, because there are plenty of times as a professional, you one might actually use a, a lens which would be construed as an amateur lens because it's not terribly long. Um, it's often where you are, what the lighting is, what you're photographing, um, what could be more charming than a match on the village green. And you know, everybody's got a village nearby, and they, you can toddle along and have a go. I think if if you're taking it seriously, whatever it is, um, you do need to watch every ball. Uh, you know, there's no easy way out because I learnt early on the one ball you don't watch is the one that really you can be there all day, and only one thing happens. And if you miss that, well, you know, you, you might as well not turn up. <laughs> are there any photos that you've taken over the years that really stand out in your memory for whatever reason? Oh, yes and no. I mean, I, I do quickly forget the ones I miss, I can tell you that. Um, What's the worst one you missed? Oh, there have been several. <laughs> I, have to, I do forget them. I did once do head and shoulder portraits of the whole England team in Melbourne and it had taken me a couple of weeks to set it up and the film hadn't wound through the camera and those are the days of film and it could happen. Um, these days it's less likely to obviously digital but things do go wrong and then sometimes things go right you know and, and you know you, you might wait for a, a magic moment a moment a historical moment someone's hundredth test wicket or you know thousandth test run or, or some little landmark that you're hoping that's going to work. Um, but usually it's, you know, just keep watching, really. <laughs>